Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our Morning Motivation, presented by the FBC Ministerial Staff. Hello, my name is Minister Terry Scott, coming to you with some words of encouragement. I want to talk to you about having joy in joyless situations or feelings. In James chapter 1 verse 2 through 4, he talks about joy, patience, and lacking nothing. In verse 2, James tells us to count it all joy when various trials come. Now notice he said when and not maybe. Yes, even becoming a believer does not give us a free pass when it comes to our trials and tribulations. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, the King James Version, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. To the saved and the unsaved, all of us are going to go through. But you have a choice to either go through with or without Jesus. In verse 3, James tells us, knowing this, that the trying of our faith worketh patience. That the trying, see, is not designed to destroy or afflict us, but to purge and refine us. You were never, you are not, and you never will be in a place that our God does not know all about you or does not know where you are. I'm talking about your good, your bad, and your ugly. In other words, you can't be too good, act too bad, or look too ugly to cause God to ever change his mind about you. You have to believe that no matter what it is, God is working it all out and it's all for your good. Now for some that might be hard to say or even believe, but know that God knows all about your troubles. I've heard some people say, Lord, give me patience. Patience is not given to us, but it is received by you as you're gaining it, as you're going through. Patience is not something to give, but instead something that you get as you live. In verse 4, James tells us to let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and complete, wanting nothing. Now this is not a preference to sinless perfection, um, but to spiritual maturity. The testing is designed to drive believers to deeper communion and greater trust in Christ. These are qualities that in turn uh, produces a stable, godly, and righteous character in every believer. Right now, we need that stability, and God has made a way for all of us to have it. And having his joy is one of his vehicles. I'm not talking about worldly joy, but wordly joy. In other words, it's a joy that no man has nothing to do with. A believer's joy from God is a good feeling deep down in the soul produced by the Holy Spirit as he causes us to see the beauty in Christ and through the word, even if we can't see it in the world. We often try to find joy in different areas of our lives like relationship, work, money, etc. God's joy is a gift of the Holy Spirit to every believer and it is a true joy. For John 15, verse 10 and 11, the King James Version. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. God has made it so that his joy will always be in us and it is up to us to allow God's joy to fill us up. Circumstances cannot take away joy given by God to every believer. He gave it to us and, and those things can't take it away. In 2 Corinthians 6.10 Paul says that believers can even be sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. 
This means that even when we are in the midst of a situation that legitimately brings us sorrow, we can still be joyful because our inner joy can never be taken away. That relationship might be sidetracked from time to time, but it'll never be severed. Even with God's joy, you might not feel like it, <clears throat> but there's a difference in the feeling and the reality of it. God gave you your joy as a spiritual gift and nobody nor no circumstances can take it from you. Now, I want to leave you with three points about God's joy and what it does. In verse two, it challenges you in your various trials. In verse three, it calms you. You learn patience. In verse four, it completes you. Having God's joy leaves you lacking nothing. As a believer, no matter the challenges, you can remain calm because you are complete with God's joy. A joy that the world did not give and one that the world nor any circumstances can take away. So during your time of joyless situations or feelings, know that as a believer, you have everything that you need during those times. You have joy, J-O-Y, that is Jesus, only you. So I wanna encourage you to hang on in there, keep the faith, trust God, and don't give up. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for joining us for another moment of inspiration. It is our prayer that you have been motivated, encouraged, and inspired by today's word. 